Deep breaths. So hello everyone out there in YouTube land. So now we have the much awaited haul. Now, if you did not check out my Marshall's shop with me video, make sure you check that out after this video is over. So you get to check out all the finds that I found that I didn't necessarily purchase, but were still good finds anyway. So I have, I got this bag here and then I have my reusable banana bag. What do I want to start first? Let's see here. Okay, let's start off with the reusable banana bag. So we'll start off with the stuff that's open. So, um, I got the I Heart Revolution Love Spells. You remember that I got the other one that's like Curses and Hexes, which is the um, Halloween version. I guess this is the Valentine's Day version. So it's I Heart Revolution Love Spells, and this was $5.99. Somebody's dog is out there. So we have some like pinks and purples in here. It opens like a book. And then here, here are your shades. You have some really good shades to work with. There are some, forgive the dogs barking outside. So you do have some shimmers, some satins in here. So you really have some beautiful colors. I really love this lavender called ethereal. And then there's like a, there's this orangey one called cosmic, spooky, lucky charm. There's just really nice color. There's this really deep like, um, brick red color so some really beautiful colors to work with in this palette so i thought that was a good deal for 5.99 we're going to be trying on some makeup in this video too so if you're not in for a long video then hmm. so i did pick up another uh piece from the doja cat collection this is like never ending collection so finally i found this one called poppy this was 4.99 and this is a powder blush trio and i really love the shades in this so you get this amazing orange which is what i really loved and then you get a brown and a tan so i think these would work really good if you like use them together almost and just like blended them i think it would create a really awesome look you get this little mirror so yeah i did not like the other one I can't remember what it was called, but if you watch my other video, you'll be able to see what it was. It had like a yellow in it, but this has some really good tones. So that was Doja Cat Poppy Floral, Flora for $4.99. Why is it like hot in this express all the time? Oh my God. Okay. Then I did pick up the Pacifica. This is the Enlightened Gloss. Now, there were two colors that I saw. One was Opal and the other one was Nudist. Now, for some reason, I thought that Nudist was more nude and that the Opal was the darker color, but it turns out that Nudist is darker than Opal. So, I did decide to pick up the Pacifica Whoa, for... It says nourishing lasting shine coconut oil antioxidants and this was $3.99. So let's see what this one looks like. I don't know if you guys prefer me to like show everything first and then open later, but okay, so this is what the nudist one looks like. You guys know I cannot it doesn't smell like anything. I cannot put on makeup on camera. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that. That is really nude. It is a gloss, but it looks like it's darker there. And then if you look at the packaging, look how dark the color looks on the packaging. So 
So I don't know if I'm loving this. For some reason, I thought it was going to look like the color on the box. See, it looks like a mauve color. That's like super nude. So it's okay. I'm not like in love with it. I'm thinking I should have got that matte lip, MAC lipstick that I saw and like it was like a pinky color. You have to watch the video. Yeah. And the opal one was even lighter than this. So I don't know. Maybe I would have to like mix it with another color. Then I got this. Uh, you got it by the Simply Bella Company Sun Kissed. Uh, because I finally, this is highlighter and blush. I finally got to see one opened, so it looked really nice. It's $6.99. I'm not like a fan of the Simply Bella Company because they knock off, I know they knock off other uh, palettes. So I don't know what palette this is a knockoff of, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, okay. So, yeah, so you get your, there's your color, $6.99. Hmm. We have some exciting stuff coming, so stay tuned while I battle opening this Simply Bella. Okay. I really like the shades, and the pans are huge. So, yeah. See, this is... Why does this look like bronzer in here? This is highlighter and blush. So, I guess the top row is your highlighter. And it goes from like super white to like a beige to a bronze. And then you have a peach, a mauve, and a brown. I really, really love the pan size on here. The pans are absolutely huge. And it's just really, really nice colors. So, um, and it has the SB embossed on it. So I was a really big fan of this palette. So, yeah. I'm glad I picked that up for the $6.99 and the packaging packaging is super cute. Then, oh, let me put the, the plastic back. You know my OCD, I got to put the plastic back. So I picked up, this is so interesting to me. I found a mini caboodle and I was going to get it just to have a mini caboodle because I have, you guys know I hold like the, caboodle barbie collab like a while ago it's so awesome anyway this is a so i was gonna get it just for the being a caboodle like a mini this is a beauty case so this was sealed so i couldn't open it well i could have but i didn't and this says take it touch up coat tote coat take it touch up tote 10 color mini eyeshadow velvet lip gloss two velvet lip glosses and a shimmer blush but it doesn't show you anywhere on here for $5.99 I mean the case is worth $5.99 it does not show you what the hell the makeup looks like so we're going to open this up together and we're going to see what's in here so that when you go to the store you do not have to go through this bs and you can just open, okay, so I'm going to open the caboodle. <laughs> oh, cute. Okay, so you open the caboodle and there's your, your eyeshadow. Look, it's mini and it says caboodle. That's so cute. Some pretty colors there. My nails look awesome, by the way. <laughs> Some pretty colors there and you get your brush. So that's really super cute. This little, little. And then in the bottom... It's supposed to be, what is it supposed to be? Vivid lip gloss, velvet lip gloss, and vivid lip gloss. And then there's a bl shimmer blush. So there's your velvet lip gloss, your vivid lip gloss, and then your blush. That is super awesome. For $5.99 plus you get the caboodle. Come on. And they only had two. So if you see this, go grab one. I know the color is a little drab. This is the only color they had. So really super awesome, cute. So that's bag one. Now we're going to move on to bag two. Why did I leave the sink thing open here? Okay. Where did this go? This thing here, back in the caboodle. 
That would make an awesome gift for somebody. That is super adorable. Cute. Okay. So I got the um, the HD Flawless Setting Powder because I actually am hitting pan on my Revolution Setting Powder. And I first, one day they didn't have this in this color. This is the Universal Translucent. The first day that I went there, or the previous time I went there, they had the banana powder. And I didn't know if I would look good with a banana setting powder. I didn't know how yellow it would be. And I didn't want to look like I had jaundice or something. So yeah, I found the translucent powder uh, for $4.99. So this will fill in for my um, revolution powder that's almost gone. So that proves to you guys that I do use the powder. So there's a translucent powder. Oh, it has a little puff. Cool. And then you have to remove the little plastic over there and then you just shake out the thing. And then you have your little puff. The other, my my Revolution one doesn't have a puff. You have to use a brush. So that was uh, good for $4.99. Then, of course, I had to pick this up. Why did I feel compelled to pick this up? I kept seeing it. I have the fragrance mist, but I just had to have it. Uh, the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. So this is $14.99, I believe. Would it be my channel if I did not drop everything? Okay. So I believe this is the full size. That looks worse. I What's going on there? I believe this is the full size. Um, this is, does it say how many ounces this is? Mm, I don't know. I like the box and everything. So let's open it up. So I kind of know what this smells like, but I don't because I just have the mist and I don't have the perfume. And I, I believe the perfume bottle looks like this. It's too bad that they don't have like testers in just if you just look at it like this what does that look like okay i'm not gonna say anything else okay yeah i remember what this looked like this is like totally scary this is evil doll scary this is super scary what is her like her head comes off how do you do this you just like pull her head off Oh, okay. Yeah. Because her hair has to come off with it. Okay. And then you just, the bottle is just her boobies. So I believe this is the full size bottle. That smells really nice. I don't know. The sprayer feels like it's going to go. That smells really nice. For $14.99. I don't remember what the retail price on this was, but for $14.99, that's cool. But it's so weird because you have to be careful. You have to pull her whole head off with her hair. Okay. Well, I'm not putting that in the box because I'll leave the box out as a display piece, but I'm not going through the whole mishmash of taking that out of the box again. So um, I think they could have done better than this evil kind of doll looking thing. That's, I sprayed a lot. That's, that's really good though. That smells really, really good. I kind of want to sh shave. I kind of want to save the shirts for last. I found these super cute flip-flops. I had to get a size 11. So these are in like a rose gold color. They had silver as well. So it has silver bling, but the... The actual shoe is rose gold and it's from this company Cap capelli new york um and then they had ones that had the silver bottom but i decided to get the rose gold one so uh i tried on the 10 i wear nine and a half and the 10 was too small i had to get the 11. so this is comfort sole this one is really comfortable and this was originally 9.99 but it was on clearance for eight and you know i can't resist the clearance and then the shirts. What shirts did I get? Can you guess? So the first shirt that I got, I love this color. This is from Riot Society. These are all men's shirts, by the way. 
So I got this like, I don't know, Fujiyama looking mountain thing, Riot Society, and it has like the Japanese writing on it. Don't know what it says, could say giant mountain. I just really like the color. It looks a little big, but I like the color. So I picked that up. This one I could only find in a large and I have a feeling it's gonna be too small, but we shall see. So it's Jaws, we're gonna need a bigger boat. I love how crazy Jaws looks in that picture. It says da 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 da, and then it says action, horror, thrills. You're gonna need a bigger boat. And then it says, will the people of Amity Island ever be safe again? I love, love, love Jaws, love it. Love Jaws, love Jaws shirts. And this is like, says 20 cents. Number 22, October. So, yeah, I love everything retro. And I love the comic book style of this. And it's just so awesome. And I saw this and I was like, oh, Jaws. And then this shirt, I picked it up. I almost got that, that Godzilla shirt where it looks like he's throwing up um, Pepto-Bismol. Like it's a pink Godzilla spewing what should be fire, but because everything is pink, it looks like Pepto-Bismol. So I was going to get it for $7.99 because it was unique and different. But I was like, seriously, every time I look at this, it looks like people are going to say to me, why is Godzilla seasick? So if you want to see the picture, look at my last video, check my Instagram. I posted a picture. I may still pick it up if I see it again, but it's just like, it's awesome. But then I say to myself, will I wear it? And I'm like, mm. so that's the same deal with this shirt. I actually put it back because I was like, it's awesome, but will I wear it? And then I actually got off the line and went back to pick it up because they only had one left in an extra large. And I was like, I'll save it for Halloween. So I got this um, Michael Myers Halloween shirt. And it's just so cool because of the. I love all of these Japanese inspired like remake shirts. I have a bunch of them. I have a Godzilla one. I have a King Kong one. I have a Cl the Clash one with this Japanese writing. I just love everything with Japanese writing on it. Or it could be Chinese. It could be Korean. I don't know, but I'm assuming it's Japanese. And it's just like, this is just like an awesome Halloween shirt. But I love the pink and blue and I just think it's so, so cool. And then I said to myself, I will never find this shirt again. And so I have to get it just for, just to have it. And then at the bottom, it, it says, it says Halloween 1978. But that's the only thing that you could read that's in English. And it has the house. It's so cool. And so that's all the stuff that I picked up in Marshalls. Yep, that's everything. Now I think of Pink Friday. It smells so good. Highly recommend Pink Friday. Oh, so, so good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this haul. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.